Hello out there, internet friends. Jersey Joe and I am back with you once again for another powerful edition of The Brew. And uh, got a good topic for you this week. Maybe a little bit emotional, perhaps. But we're talking about what's the best pet you ever had? Who's your favorite animal, dog, cat, fish, gerbil, rabbit, whatever you had, what made them so awesome? Got some fun stories to share with you between Joel and I, and we've got your fun stories to share as well. So let's go over there to Joel first in Vegas. So Joel, what's the best pet you ever had? Is it Crispin? No, Crispin's a terrible pet. So anyway, no, <laughs> I'm just playing. When I had this, uh, growing up, I had this dog, his name was Buddy. My parents just, I don't even, I don't know where they got him. They might have just found him on the street. But anyway, he was a really good pet. He was this fluffy white dog and he followed us everywhere. And he was kind of like middle size. And my favorite part about Buddy was we were playing tag one time and he overreacted to one of the neighborhood kids that was trying to uh, chase me and he went over and ripped his calf open. And I was like, you know, Crispin's never done anything cool like that for me. So, Okay, so you got a dog that ripped its paw open for you. <laughs> Interesting. No, no, I have to, if I, Joe, if I'm giving you a serious answer, it's my dog that uh, I have right over here. His name's Crispin. You guys have seen him on the show a million times. I got him on an Animal Foundation segment on the news when I was working in a newscast. Um, and I just kind of like ran in and I was like, I want that dog. It was like, I just knew that was the dog for me. So I've had him for about eight years now and. Yeah, he's my he's the best pet. That's the real answer. He is. He's a good boy. I I can verify that. He's 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 a lovable little guy. He is. And so the B roll of him licking Joe's face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and he's also super small and compact too. So he fits easily in any overhead compartment. If you have to travel with him. That's right. All right, well, mine is not a dog. Mine is actually a cat, and I had this cat for about 16 years. Her name was Angel, and I was driving with my uncle and aunt in the country, and we almost hit her with a pickup truck. She was dropped off in the middle of nowhere. She was way out in the mountains, and we stopped and walked out of the vehicle, and she came running up to us. So I picked her up. We brought her back to uh, my grandparents' house there in uh, Pennsylvania, and... She lived a long, happy life. She uh, was awesome. She'd lay down and watch Letterman with me every night. She would, you, you could talk to her. You know, full conversation with a cat. She'd meow and answer back. And she would always bring me decapitated animals. She loved to go out and catch, like, squirrels, birds, uh, and just bring them back, round moles, and they'd be missing the head. She's like, here you go. Hey, I brought this for you. And I'm like, oh, great. Thank you. What am I going to do with this? Yeah, the one I'm time. to make sure it wasn't going to be able to run away. Well, all except the one time where she caught a snake and decided to bring it in the house and let it go in the kitchen. And it was great fun to watch my grandfather, who at this point had a 12-pack old Milwaukee's that I'm trying to get said snake after slithering around the kitchen table and stuff. It was it was the day you know before you had like cell phone cameras and stuff. And I kind of wish I had cell phone cameras back then because it was it was definitely like a like a Benny Hill kind of I love Lucy moment. So, yeah, I, I miss that cat. She 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 was awesome. I mean, she was big, dude, a big cat. The best thing about a cat like that, though, especially living in the country on a cold day like today, it's like the best foot warmer you ever have. Just lay there and purr, and you'd be good all night. Like, you know, money can't buy that. So, I miss that cat. I do. I like I like uh, calling you, like, Aquaman, but in this case, you're like, you and that cat specifically are like Noah's Ark. Like, that's exactly what it reminded me of. I, well, as you know, too, I am like part animal whisperer, so the animals do like, I make friends with most animals very easily. Yeah, and... Joe doesn't need season one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, we got a bunch of your answers coming up here, and uh, some of these are kind of emotional, so prepare yourself for, uh, here's some of your stories. So, what is the best pet you ever had? Well, Sarah says, a Vizsla, of course, everyone. Roth Guitar says, Elvis James, miniature schnauzer extraordinaire, unbelievably smart and conscientious. Yes, my man had a discernible conscience. He always knew when he behaved badly and we forlorn him about it. An amazing K-line, faithful, loyal, true, and beautiful. I miss him. When I put him down, I swear he knew it was the end. He turned his ears back in a way I'd never seen before, looked deeply into my eyes, and passed away. Aw, man, I think we I need some, like, tissues now. Damn. That was some, that was some dark material right there. I did not expect the show to go in this direction. That was very Shakespearean. <laughs> it, was, it was it was emotional. But thank God Rudy's got a great one here that'll liven up this show and make us all smile. Because here it comes my little turtle named Bambino. I kid you not, I named him that. Miss that little turtle every day. I love the fact that Rudy named his turtle after Babe Ruth. I I highly approve of that. I do too. That's actually really funny. I like uh. I like that it was a turtle, too, just like uh, the 2021 Bronxy for the Yankees' unofficial turtle mascot. That's right. That's right. Look, it all ties in together nicely. 
right. uh, Real Treats tweets. He says, "Nice, Sabrina." Week, last week's show was Ninja Turtles. So here we go. Round of a theme here. You are correct. Uh, Real Treat Sweet says, My Sabrina, she lived to be at least 21. She showed up at our house in 1978, and she passed away in 1999. She was loving and sweet. She always loved sleeping on my bed as she is here. He sends a picture of said cat sleeping on the bed. Congratulations to him for the fact that the cat lived to be 21 years old. Yes, the cat was legally allowed to drink. Yeah, in, in more than just cat years. Yeah, I don't even know what that is in cat years. Um, a little too much to multiply here right now. 21, 7. 140 something? Just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. And Bronx Bombers 46 is a final answer. A Rottweiler that I rescued. He was my best bud. When he passed, I got a tattoo of him and would bring him back to life over every human. Hey, at least we're going out on a high note in this one. That's awesome, though. A Rottweiler rescue dog and got a tattoo. That's a great tribute. Yeah, I like it. Rescue tattoo. <laughs> it's a good theme. Yeah, it is. So, so, all right, so we had a little, like, tough emotion, and we got some nice emotion at the end there. So these, those are great stories. I, I, I loved it, you know? I mean, it's, it's great. And, yes, we had to give a shout-out to Crispin, too, for being the good pup that he is. I'm sure he's uh, there on the floor knowing that I'm talking about him, hopefully. Yeah. He's showing, yeah. He was showing off the bell earlier. Well, you know actually what he's doing. He's on your phone clicking that like, subscribe button for all the fun here in the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Four shows waiting for you each and every week. And I say that because I follow Chris Foot on Twitter, at Joel's Pup. And you know the little guy, he does like to get on there and say some things every once in a while. He says some things, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to let the viewers go find that on their own. I'm not getting involved. So. <laughs> all right, Jersey Joe, I on your pets and you saying thanks for watching. Thanks for your great stories. And we'll see you next time, I hope. Catch up with last week's episode of the Brew's annual Celebrity Death Watch, or more shows on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel.